Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode. So in this one I am just off to go meet Hosea outside of camp. I uh, don't know, can't remember what he has planned, probably to do with that uh, moonshine we acquired in a previous uh, video. Before we get into it though, if you could like, comment and subscribe, if you could be so kind, that would help a great deal and would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for all those who do even like one of the three. I mean, every little helps. All right, Hosea, where are you lurking? The wagon is a good place to start to look. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it, they must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Why am I driving the wagon? We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Oh, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, sure do. I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look. These are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? Completely the the deadly Alki Mahal. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. And we can almost guarantee that this moonshine won't end in we'll be blindness, dysentery, anything like that, really. Driver, proceed, please. It's all top shelf stuff. Well, things got bright here rather quickly. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor i ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me i couldn't see your name on it oh relax i ain't here to rob you <laughs> no it seems that's easy enough <laughs> why not do a deal what do you sell that stuff for Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Now look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen. Uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. Cribbage. 
All right. Next stop, the road. I'm not really uh, refined, you know, refined enough, but what is cribbage? Does anyone know? Throw it in the comments, because I have never heard of it. Uh, well, I've heard of it, but it's sort of from old people in movies most of the time. Like, I've never heard anyone else ask for a game of cribbage. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise Or just us, specifically, I think. Because we're the ones pissing off Cornwall the most. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing, Jess. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Oh, yeah, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke this pipe. And look simple. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. A bit. Oh, perfect. Yeah. What about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Broke poor mammy's heart. <sighs> there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Fenton. That wagon must have cost you a pretty penny or two. <laughs> Fenton, what the hell? He's turned idiot. Oh, yeah, I do like this mission. He's turned idiot. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> it's, it's just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Right the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come on, Fenton. It's kind of a shame you can't have that Hand pipe as a liquor. permanent fixture. <laughs> as like a permanent sort of cosmetic touch. Or just every now and then he'll pull it out if you equip it. Alright, I go in, I go behind the bar then, do I? Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Now this is like a a quick time event, kind of, I suppose, that uh, I can sort of live with. Just keep them coming. Yeah, I'm raising a glass.
Ah, oh, right, no, it's the other one there. Fair enough. I have to like, I have to lean basically off my chair to see this. I still haven't moved that bloody statue of the NFL in front of the TV. To be fair, most games don't do stuff like this. Uh, you know, bottom right sort of quick time events and stuff. Advertising. I needed to make sure I didn't shoot Jose. Hey, hey, this way. Get down, boo, you damn bastards. How did they Let's get go. up here? Okay, there's stairs for that. Are we really keeping up the whole fetten thing? We're being shot at, for God's sakes. Just call me off. I'm getting this out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? Well, they never let go of the fact they lost the American Civil War. So I don't see them letting go of this. I mean, Northerners beat them in the war. They're probably not gonna let a bunch of Northerners take their alcohol as well. Oh no, the horse is gonna run. Uh nope, the horse is fine. Good. He's not though. He is very definitely dead. Calling these like other uh, rival gangs gangs, but they seem really like armies. <laughs> they, the O'Driscolls are like in the hundreds. Okay. These guys appear to be in the hundreds. God knows I've killed a small army so far. All right, we're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. In, what was it? Advertise. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. 
I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. All right, let's go talk to Dutch. Uh, where does this mission leave me? Ah, in camp. Cool. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Okay. So I can go for uh I'll go to Hosea. I think. Where's my horse? There's my horse. Oh, that's not my horse. Where there it is. So many icons when when you go back to camp. Ah, there he is. Good boy. Well, I called the horse Cindy, so good. Lost control of the horse for a sec there. Which makes sense because it is a living animal and it is not going to run into a tree. So that's good that they've programmed that. Okay, here we are. It's a long ride to Braithwaite's from where we've made camp.
Hey fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. Okay, My associates cool. are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit too bad. Unless I really have to, I don't like carrying, like, two weapons. Unless I know I'll need it. Or if I'm really low on ammo. In, like, multiple weapon types. Otherwise, I just go for the Lancaster. Lancaster and two revolvers. Maybe the repeating shotgun as well. I like that gun. Please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle? Oh, Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Cool, I'll get to do a mission with Sean. I haven't worked with Sean properly yet. Like, one on one. Can I drive? No. Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his arse. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not her thinking this hell about, I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty hell, bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really barely so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. Arthur's oh, very laid back most all of the time. Right <laughs> Just like, fine, whatever. Take it as it goes. Ask Sean any questions. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and Stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. 
try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> How can he not see me? What you want, boy? I've, uh, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you no know, harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions. I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, <sighs> Uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> Again, I do think that uh, if this was ever made to live action, Tom Hall Gleason should play. I think it's Tom Hall Gleason, the guy who plays Hux in Star Wars. He should play. Sure. So I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a fella to kick a bit of honest walk out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. All right, you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does he not see me? like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, All right. It. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy because if some folks got all the money they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable eh? mm. <clears throat> how you getting on good nearly got these things ready okay out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Oh, hey! Well, 
I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Hopefully that's not the same shed we left the body and the wagon in. Just let me deal with our friend. Hopefully. But we're not going to be here that long. You douse the fields, I'll we'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Ah, this isn't going too badly. Should be enough for here. I still have most of the contents of the, the bottle. So yeah, it's not going too badly at all. That's good. Last one. Meet Shorn at the barn. Or Shorn, not Shorn. No one's called Shorn. Eh, maybe a Viking. That sounds like a Viking name. Shorn. Also, uh, well, whilst I remember, I found out how to get the Lamat revolver, finally, and it's much later in the game, around the next chapter, sometime. So I just, yeah, that's what I'll be doing in the coming episodes, uh, coming in videos, finding that Lamat revolver. Oh, you give this a quick dousing as well. Why didn't look at that? Yeah. Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. You ain't leaving here. Deal with these Why are we backtracking? Why didn't I just burn the place down whilst I was like pouring the oh whatever? Yeah. 
This is a goddamn mess. He's still bleeding. Ah! Oh, man, up ahead. There goes our right out of here. The wagon we saw come in earlier. We can nick the horses from that. All right, well, this is quite cabbish. Sean, let's go. Okay, let's get the hell out of here fast. Do right, follow me. Look out! There's more of them. The very next mission I have to do is for the Greys, so I'm going straight back here, right after I burnt the place down to the ground. Jesus, that turned into a right party. You call that a party? That brave weight hag got a money's worth, Arley. Let's just get out of here first. Little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are around. Right. Um, There's some money at the end of it. Nah. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Later. I, I got some business. Right, you are English. Hey, what? A job well done, really? I'd say. Three. Does that, does that really say yeah. 3061? How did I get 3,000? Alright, the horse is gone. Don't know where I left the horse. It's probably still at Braithwaite Manor. Ah, oh, right. What? Ah! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Like, if I knew that other mission wouldn't have been there, I would have travelled back to camp. If I knew the John Marston or Javier or whatever it was would disappear. Ugh. Alright, what's this one? The uh, Dash asked you to find out. Okay, Trollony is, uh... Alright, I just need to find a bump, bump, but a pair of bounty hunters or something. Ah, uh, but that doesn't matter. I'll do it in the next part. I'm gonna call it a day, I think, for this one. Hope you've all enjoyed. Uh, if you could be so kind as to like, comment, and subscribe, it would help a great deal. And if you wait for the end screen, you will get two, that's two, count them, one, two, uh, suggestions of different walkthroughs on my channel that you might be interested in. And I hope you are. Well, that's pretty much it. Until next time, <laughs> I got nothing else. Until next time, you take care, look after yourself, have a great day, and ta-da.